Welcome back amid growing concerns over the trajectory of the war. Israel appears to be signaling it will not slow down its offensive in Gaza, putting increased pressure on President Biden when it comes to enforcing his red line. The White House maintains that the strike that killed dozens of Palestinian civilians in Rafah will not result in a change in U.S. policy and that it has not yet seen Israel launch a major operation. But the Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, acknowledged today that even targeted strikes by Israel could still result in unspeakable tragedy. We also see that even limited, focused, targeted attacks um, designed to deal with um, terrorists who've killed um, innocent civilians and are plotting to kill more, even those kind of operations can have terrible, horrific, unintended consequences. Secretary Blinken went on to say Israel must ask itself whether those incremental gains against Hamas are worth the unintended consequences and costs for civilians. Israel, meantime, appears to be forging ahead with Israeli Defense Forces tanks seen in Rafah's city center and a top Israeli official saying the war there will go on for months. NBC's international correspondent Raf Sanchez filed this report for us from Tel Aviv. Hey there, with Israel stepping up its offensive in Rafah and the number of Palestinian civilians killed growing by the day, the White House is facing new questions about where exactly is President Biden's red line and has Israel crossed it? Now, the line from John Kirby, the spokesman for the National Security Council, is that President Biden does not want to see a large-scale Israeli ground offensive involving lots of units, involving the levels of destruction that we saw in northern Gaza. And the White House believes that at this point, we have not seen that happen. But earlier today, a senior Israeli official saying Israel believes this war will continue at least until the end of the year. And that likely means that there will be more bloody days like what we saw on Sunday night when an Israeli airstrike igniting a firestorm in a camp for displaced people, killing at least 45. Many of them are women and children, according to the emergency services in Hamas run Gaza. Now, the IDF releasing what it says is the initial investigation into that strike. They say they use two small bombs to target Hamas leaders meeting at a structure inside of that camp. But they say there was some kind of secondary explosion which caused that firestorm. They are saying the weapons they used were too small to have caused that fire itself. They are suggesting possibly there were Hamas weapons hidden inside the camp which caused that secondary blast. They haven't provided any evidence of that. An Israeli official also suggested to NBC News it's possible that a gas tank ignited. The Pentagon is also confirming a report we did earlier that the U.S. military has been forced to suspend the delivery of aid into Gaza by sea after that temporary pier off the coast of Gaza was damaged in bad weather. That is a major blow to the humanitarian effort at a time when the Rafah crossing, the main lifeline for food and aid into Gaza, remains closed. Now, an Israeli official tells NBC News that Israel has drawn up a new ceasefire proposal and has presented that to the American and the Qatari mediators. But at this point, Hamas says they haven't seen that proposal. And there is no indication right now that these talks stalled for so long are going to lead to significant progress. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.